More fallout from landmark recovery as we're learning new details about the addiction treatment facility. We continue to hear from former employees about their experiences working at Landmark. Matt Gotch joining us now from the newsroom with more Matt. Yeah, hey Terry. Just yesterday, the state revoked Landmark Recovery's licenses at three locations, including Mishawaka. And former employees say they are not surprised. In fact, they could see it coming a mile away. Now, as of right now, Landmark no longer has a license to operate, meaning they are not allowed to accept new patients. They have three weeks to transfer or discharge any current patients to adequate levels of treatment at other facilities. Now, in a statement issued by Praxis Landmark Recovery, they said in part, we respectfully disagree with the, this decision and believe it is based on misinformation and we are committed to the well-being of our patients and staff. However, a former mental health technician at Landmark in Mishawaka tells us that the staff were not properly trained and that staff shortages created a dangerous environment. We have two nurses to 80 girls and maybe one to two techs. Same with the guys. So we had no control, none. The patients, they, they run those facilities because we have no power. And we'll have more on this story coming up at 6. Back to the studio. Matt Gotch reporting live from the newsroom tonight. Matt, thanks for the update. And we're also hearing from 2nd District Congressman Rudy Yockham. He says he's disturbed by the allegations against Praxis, and he's glad to see the state taking action against the troubled company.